Okay, so now I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a very quick and easy uh, cartoon in Pixen. So here's my home page. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on the main menu and then where it says My Creations Comics, I'm going to click on a new one. Okay, so I can create one from a template. Um, I could adapt it to find one that's already existing and adapt it to my needs or I can create one from scratch, which is what we're going to do. There's lots of different things that you can do. You could do custom clip art, you can do e-learning, announcements, training and education, um, an explainer comic, a storyboard, classic three panel, or a photo story. Um, I think just to start we'll do a custom clip art, for example, if I was using it in a PowerPoint. So I'm going to click on that to create it. And that one's going to give me just one panel to work with, so to show you how to use it, it's very quick and easy. So you're going to click in the panel, and this is kind of the panel that you use to create with. And Pixen's very easy. If you want to know what a button does, you just hover over it and it will show you. And you will only ever see the buttons that you can use at one time. So if, for example, you're doing background, you will only ever see the backgrounds that you want. So let's say I am doing a um, panel on golf. So I want to choose a background which is right here, add background. And I pick golf and see what they've got. Oh, and look at that. We've got a nice screen on a nice uh, green that we can add to, okay? You can make this background bigger or smaller. And I want it to fit my panel, so I'm gonna move it over a bit. There we are. Hopefully we're on the green, which is wherever golfer wants to be. And I'm going to call it Mrs. Maharg Golf. Okay, so here is my background. And no background, it's gonna be pretty boring like this, so I want to add some sort of character. So these are some of my characters, or you can pick a new character that you wanna create from, and these are lots that Pixen has provided, or you can go to preset characters. <clears throat> so. Let's see if we have a golfer in here. So golf, and there isn't a golfer. So I'm gonna to have to create a golfer. So I would probably go back to my characters. Oopsies. And there's lots of me in there. Oh, she looks like she might be a golfer. Let's pick her. So there she is, all ready to golf. Must be a cooler day because she's got long sleeves on. And to change the size, you just click on these little square boxes, and that will change the size of your character. If you want to spin them around, you pick the corners to work with. Okay, so there is my character. And once again, remember, if you want to see the buttons you can use with that character, you have to click on her. So there she is. And I'm happy with her proportions, but let's say I want to change the way she looks. So let's say we want to make sure she's got a golf collar on. So you click on that part of what she's wearing and hold, and lo and behold, look at There's some nice golf outfits for her with collars. And this is a new character, so I would click yes because I may want to use her again. Let's say I don't like the colors. Okay, so edit color, click and hold. Let's give her, oh, let's say blue, I like blue. Nice navy blue shirt. Oh, she looks good. And you know what? I'm not really happy with her hair today, so I can give her lots of different hairstyles. As you can see, you've got lots to choose from. But seeing as she is golfing, let's put her in a ponytail. Okay, there she is. And I don't use my glasses when I'm golfing because I only need to read, so I'm gonna get rid of my glasses. And there she is. Okay, and I want to change her expression because when I'm on the golf course, I don't look like that. I usually look happier. So click on Edit Expression, click to her face, and look at that. I can change the way she looks. That's for the bad shots there, yeah. And oh, that was a bad shot. Okay, but I'm usually happy on the golf course. Let's give her a nice smile. And you could even like change her eyebrow. Like, 
what kind of a shot was that? Or, whew, that is a great shot. So let's give her the great shot look. You could turn her head. You could change her hair. It's all good. Maybe I don't like her earrings. We could change those. But I'm happy with how she's looking now. So we're going to go back to edit looks. You could um, pick a different outfit for her if you wanted from preset ones. But once again, I'm happy with how she's looking. You can edit proportions. If you want to change the way she's standing, so go back to edit expression and you'll see down here there's preset expressions. So you could pick any one of these. You know, maybe she's gloating because she had a great shot or she's scared or um, she's bragging because it was like pretty, pretty great shot. So let's let's have her bragging and we want to change her pose. There are lots of great preset poses. You can pick from any of these. Not seeing the golf shot here yet, so bear with me. Maybe she's looking for her shot. Oh, look it. Where did it go? Maybe she is rejoicing because she had a great shot. Yeah, let's have her rejoicing because, hey, great shot, right? All right, so now we've got her here. She looks kind of small compared to the flag. So let's just make her a little bit bigger. And she could, she could use some um, props. So go out and props are the little hexagonal thing here. So we want, let's see if we have golf. Oh yes, oh, there is the wagon. So we can put the wagon out back. Now it's a little big, so let's bring her down. Put the wagon up here because she's waiting for her next shot. Let's move her closer to the hole. Okay, and we're probably going to want um, maybe a golf club. So let's go back into props, type in golf again, and there is the golf club. So we're going to give her her golf club. And let's spin it a bit so it looks like she's holding it in the air. Okay, so there we got her ready to move. Trying to get it in her hands here. Okay, and then we could put it to the back so that it looks like her hand is holding it. So click on that and you go down here and you'll see it says bring forward or bring back. I want it in the background, so we'll put it in her hand. 
And then we might want, let's say we want, um, let's hopefully have a golf ball. Or some sort of white ball. Okay, they don't have a golf ball. We're going to use baseball. We'll just make it small enough that it's a golf ball. Oh, look at that. It's going to go in the hole. In the hole. Yay! In the hole she goes. Okay, she's pretty excited. Okay, so now we have our background. And we have her excited about her shot. We have the golf ball sitting in the hole there. And now what we want is to give her some sort of a caption. So you add text. And it's there. And you're going to put, oh, wow. What an amazing, whoopsies, amazing shot. Ta-da. Okay, and then to make it come from her, we're going to make it a little bit bigger. We're going to move it over. So to move, you got to push and hold. And sorry, my mouse is not working the best today. And then we can attribute it by pulling that towards her. And maybe I think that's not big enough. So if I click on that, you can see down here, you can change the bubble. So maybe I want, wow, what an amazing shot. Um, I could change the shape of the tail. I can change the font. So let's say it's a scary situation. Oh, what an amazing shot. Or maybe I want something a little more easygoing or something more classic. Okay, you got lots, lots of choices. You can see them all there. And then you can change the size of the text. Okay, so she's yelling, so we're gonna make it big. You can change the border thickness. You could pad it a bit. Okay. You could change the line spacing. I'm not going to worry about that. You can do a double if you want to do that. You could rec actually record sound and have it actually play. And what happens when you record sound is um, a little um, play button will then appear in the bubble and you would click play to hear what is said. Um, you can upload a sound. So if I had the sound of the ball dropping into the um, hole, I could record that or upload that sound and have it play when I want to by clicking right there or you can add a link if you want if you are unhappy with something on it you could put it just put it in the garbage so let's say I had a prop I didn't want uh, a campfire oh look at there is a campfire on my comic and I don't like it so easily click on it garbage gone uh, yeah, and that's if you want to change color once again very easy to do so let's say I don't like this and I want to change the color. That's easy to do. Just click the color. You can change the color background to red, which isn't going to happen because it's a golf one. But anyways, you can pretty much change anything you like. Some of these are more advanced settings uh, for a future video, but that is the basics of how to create your comic. And then you're probably going to want to name your character in case you want to use it again. So golf. This is Mahark, so that I know which ones are which. And then next time I make a comic, I will have the option to include her in that. And that is pretty much it. If I wanted to add another panel and keep going, just click the Add Panel, and you keep going. That is how easy it is. If you're stuck, click the Help button. There are You can ask for anything you want to know. They have uh, FAQs, they have some teach, uh, cheat sheets, and if you are really struggling and you don't find your answer there, if you click on open in a message window, you could easily um, send them a quick message and they will get back to you and they usually get back to you within the day, um, if not even shorter than that. Anyways, that is how to create a comic. Oh, and you would want to save it. Sorry, I forgot to show you that. So you could save for later and do some more or you can save and continue. And there she is. I can allow others to remix it, save and continue. And I now have a finished golfing comic. Ta-da! You can post this on Twitter. You could email it to someone. You can embed it somewhere. You could remix it and change it all up. You can print it off in color or um, black and white. I quite often like to download it because then I can play with the size of it before I print it. You could put this on a t-shirt if you wanted to. You can edit or you can change the settings, but there's certainly lots you can do.